as you can probably tell, I'm not feeling my best today. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video because over the past couple of weeks I've had a bit of a giveaway running. Um, <clears throat> I wore a t-shirt to a with one of my videos with a slogan on it and I wanted or I asked if you could identify what the slogan is about to email me let me know what it is and you could win a little something as you move out of the way um, and you could win a little something as a, a token of my appreciation for uh, being a subscriber to the channel this is the t-shirt this is the slogan any idea what it is well so far one person it's a, it's now closed one person has actually entered and the slogan is in regards to a Jethro Tull song from the minstrel in the gallery album called one white duck and zero to your power of ten equals nothing at all out of war gaming you've won what have you won well first of all i will need your address and i can send it out but what you have won is in this little box <laughs> along with something for me so you've not won both of the things that's in this box uh, one of the things is mine but this is a kickstarter campaign that I've backed as you can see it's Fancy Squid Games if you know Fancy Squid Games if you watched the video or the first video from my Halloween Night Games Nights you will know what the game is now but you've won a copy of the game Ghost Hunter so send me your address this is straight out of the box so as you can see it's not actually shrink wrapped or anything so you're not getting any dodgy second hand stuff um, it's straight out of the box it's come straight to me in this condition so i will um, send this out to you as soon as i get your address okay so that is what you've won um but what else is in this box is the second kickstarter um game which is ghost hunter vampires it's a different art style and there is also a promo card for the next or the current kickstarter campaign which is witch hunter and that's the um well actually it's called witches it's ghost hunter there's ghost hunter is the first one ghost hunter vampires is the second one where, uh, where you get the campaign not everybody's uh, who backs is getting their copies now and the one that's currently running on Kickstarter is Witches so they've had to change um, a lot of things about this game um, including the artist because for whatever reason the artist couldn't continue um, so there's a, a big difference between how you get the games but as I say that is a brand new copy it's never been opened and it won't be opened you'll you will be the first person to open this uh, to war gaming so send me your address and i will send it to you as soon as but now we're going to get on with opening this um i say if you watched our uh, first video from our halloween nights games nights you will know that uh, we played Ghost Hunter, or we attempted to play Ghost Hunter. <laughs> um, so uh, you've got a, a rough idea of what the rules are like, but let's get this cracked open and have a look at the cards, shall we? Okay, here we are. Um, I'm just changing my glasses so I can see what I'm looking at. Um, there we go. Let's just bring the, the boxes out 
and have a, a look at both of them. Well, as you can see, there is a slight difference between not just the thickness of the box, but the way it's packaged. I don't know whether they've changed um, manufacturers or not, but uh, I do like the new packaging. So let's have a look at what's inside. I don't like doing this with boxes. <laughs> Oh, well. Right, so my hands aren't really steady at the moment, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can with things. Oh dear lord, come on. And there we go. How do I get into this? Oh, I have to break it. <laughs> and here we are. Um, let's go and get my other packet because I don't want to open that one. Um, okay, this is my this is my deck. Um, Obviously, that's yours. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. Take one of the cards out and have a look. Let's see if there's any difference at all in the style. Well, as you can see, there's a slight difference in the size of the cards. So, there we are. And in the back, there's no difference at all in the design. But, let's just slice open and have a look at the cards inside and have a look at the difference in the arts um, so we have cards here that give you the basic rules as you can see the cards look really nice I have a feeling they've changed manufacturers for the cards because they do feel different somehow plus the different size I don't know why that why they've gone for that one but um there we go. I don't know whether the I don't know whether these ones are going to be mind you I would say so because it's the same same size box so I don't know what's anyway never mind you see the difference in the style of artwork let's just have a look at some of the cards while well, we have a bat swarm we have a henchman I'm trying to get into a position where I feel comfortable I don't know why, because it even hurts when I blink today. <laughs> oh. And then we have a familiar. And this one's got a little piece of text underneath the uh, on the bank in this scroll. Uh, lay underneath another card to increase its value by one. It's interesting. This this text um, occurs as soon as you play the card. And then we have the Vampire Titanic Castle. So the Vampire of Titanic Castle. Then we have Young Bloods. Next player misses a go. That's a new thing for this game. I don't think we had a miss a go one in uh, Ghost Hunter. And then we have a Shapeshifter. May be used to complete any run or set of three. That's good. A few of those. And if anyone can pronounce that, please let me know. Kalikantzaro, uh, is it? Capture the stack. That's nice.
and go and reverse the order of play. Penangolin, sorry, not Pengallon, Penangolin. Uh, now this I'm assuming is German with the style of writing. I've not a clue what it says. Anybody let me know. And uh, Strigo, is it? Strago, something like that. And then we have an Incubus. You may swap your hand with another player, then capture this card. Then we have a Vampirus. Next card must be a 7 or lower. We have Old One. Turn over any exit card. Succubus. Capture all of the... Um, Infinity cards from the stack. So that's nice. Vlad the Impaler. Capture this card and the top three cards of an opponent's capture pile. Nice. Chupacabra. This card is always worth minus 20 points. And finally, the count. So there we go. That's, uh, that's what's in the Ghost Hunter. Vampire's deck. There we are. Now that's one I've got today. And something else I got today was a little package from my friend Karina. Um, I just thought I'd show what, what she sent me. This is all the way from Corfu. This is a little thing about her. Um, you can make notes if you so wish. Well, the first thing she sent me is some bookmarks uh, for her books. There we go. And uh, one for somebody else's books uh, sort of protect the very people bent on destroying them um, this is from Michelle C. Riley's books variants so there we go, I have those and she sent me some chocolates other chocolate brands are available <laughs> she sent me DVD. <laughs> I've not watched that one. So. Um, I've also got a little key ring in the shape of... Uh, is it one of the Angry Birds? I don't know. And another little key ring. Um, with the old seeing eye on it. Or whatever it may be. I can't remember what it's called. It's called different things in different countries. Um, so that's what I've got from Karina. So thank you very much, Karina. I will look forward to sampling the chocolates. The bookmarks will be going into my little collection. And the key rings will be attached to my keys very, very soon. So that's it from this video. <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, as well, we haven't had any questions I haven't been able to do any Q&A questions of Q&A videos for the past couple of weeks because I haven't had any questions. So uh, pop some questions into the comment section of my last Q&A or send me an email with questions and that way I will keep your name out of it. Um, if you must. Um, you can always ask the questions in here as well. It's up to you. Um, but uh, yeah, send me some questions because I like doing the uh, Q and A uh, videos. Um, so but that's it from me for today. Um, I'm now decide. I'm now going back to bed because I'm absolutely knackered. So I will uh, speak to you soon. Bye.
Mark Luther as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. 